Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast, in a very subdued Bethnal Green change room here with a very smart PSO Leary. Um, you weren't looking that smart about an hour and a half ago because you was in an absolute tear up in the ring. But uh, yeah, you come for it and you got the win and it was a very entertaining fight as well. Just your sort of initial thoughts, obviously you wouldn't have had time to see many clips and watch it back, but just your initial thoughts as someone who's victorious tonight. Um, yeah, all I can say, yeah, the fans loved it. It was a great fight uh, for me. It was a massive, massive learning curve. Um, I, knew, I, knew it was kind of, I knew it was very durable. I went down in the first round, that was my jab. Uh, I knew straight from then that I was too strong for him. So I kind of pushed it, pushed the pressure out a little bit, where I was just kickboxing and kept doing my team. When he put the pressure on me, I showed everyone else in the, in the, in the old car that, uh, that, I could, that I could box as well. So it wasn't always just power or stuff like that. But I'm going to cut this over myself, where I load up a little bit too much on the shots that I shouldn't be doing. But look, another learning curve, I got cut. Um, dealt with that fantastic, no pressure, no, no panicking whatsoever, and um, yeah, good to go. Obviously, only 8 0 now, and you'll have bigger fights to come, but Sierra Oscar was a good name on the record, but to stop him, is that sort of already at this stage in your career a little bit of a statement, would you say? Yeah, I'm, I'm only 21. Um, that's what the coach said, look, you're only 21. Like, like, there's no big rush, there's no big rush. Like, that, that, that fight could set me up for big fights now, but. Let's just keep going with the pace we're going. It's a nice pace. Each foot and ground showing different departments that uh, people haven't seen yet. So yeah, we're just going to keep on going, just keep on building and uh, believing in the team that I have around me. Yeah. What would you say if you could pick a single key, like one individual key to your game that won you that fight tonight, if you could pick one thing? The jab. Yeah. The jab is fantastic. I always box, boxing with the jab. Um, kept the distance with the jab, got in the distance with the jab. Found everything where um, I think I was just loaded up a little bit too much where I should have been just popping, popping on the jab, uh, setting up a force couple of rounds, set a load of feints, which is fantastic. And uh, yeah, I could have just set it all a little bit more before you go. But I'm a boxer, so I'm going to put the side myself no matter what, whether people tell you you've done fantastic this and that, da da da. But um, for me, I just, even though it was a great fight, I was still going to put the side myself and I didn't. I wasn't really happy with the performance I put in. Is that how it should be though? If we've been, is that how it should be? You've just got the best win of your career and if you keep criticising yourself and looking for these holes and nitpicking them, then you will turn into yeah, the yeah, perfect yeah, fighter. Yeah, so it makes sense for you to, yeah, to, to yeah, be that. Yeah, yourself. Yeah, I never, I never do well. I'm always satisfied, but I always want more. And that's just the way I am. And even when I want more, I don't want more handed to me, I want more when I work hard. So when I was in there tonight, I thought I just could have gone through the gears a little bit more and get them out early. But look, we've got the stoppage, which is fantastic. I'm Deloria. Um, hands, face, everyone's, everyone's all good and healthy, yeah. so yeah, I'm delighted. Yeah. You said that Al keeps saying to you, you're only 21 years old, but with a win like that, it kind of comes with, not pressure, but maybe a bit more expectation. People will now go, right, I want to see Pierce in another step up fight, and I don't know, it could look like in a couple of years that we could see you in some real big fights, because for the stage of your career you're at, I said, that's a big win, so I don't know, is it only sort of big fights kind of from here on in? Um, yeah, I'm not going to say big fight, but fights where I'm going to keep on earning. Interesting fights, rather, Inter like exactly. fights yeah, where yeah, there's someone in... Interesting fights where it's going to get to the stage yeah. where I need to get there. Yeah. It's going to build a different character in me. And it's going to bring out a different character. So yeah, it's just each fight to bring a different purse every time. And just quickly, you said you got cut for the first time. Your experience on getting cut in the ring, because obviously panic can set in, I suppose. Nah, it was good as gold. It was, yeah. oh, I didn't even... He caught me uh, with, his head, with his head and he caught me with a left hook then, but I kind of blocked the left hook. I felt warm coming down my face, I was, and I'd done that, I saw a bit of red, so I knew it was cut. But it uh, didn't phase me whatsoever. Mm. Look, I'm quite, quite, you're going to get caught, aren't you? Mm. So I went back to the corner, I just, when we caught me, I was down the corner, I was just looking directly at my coach, letting him do the business, and then uh, going out there and then the, the game plan. Well, there you go, overcome an obstacle like that tonight, look good. Got the win. Um, is it a perfect night for yourself? Yeah, perfect night, yeah. yeah. A few oh, beers now? Nah, Treat yourself? Nah, don't drink it. I'm happy to leave now and spend some time, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I'll miss out of time. Alright, well, good stuff. Congratulations tonight, Piers. You did look really good, I have to say. And uh, yeah, the train rolls on.